guys how are you doing uh, so today we are going to solve um, problem number 249 which is group shifted strings so what we are going to do in this problem so there will be bunch of strings which will be given to us and then we have to group them so they share some common property what is that property so for example if you look here abc if you see the distance between b and a is 1 and c and b is 1 right so this is abc and similarly B and C is 1, C and D is 1. So they both are same. In the similarly, if I look at Z, A, B, they are also same. So in this case, assume after Z, A will start again. So there will be a rotation. So in this problem, there are two things which we are going to learn. The first thing is, anytime any problem comes wherein you have to group things uh, together, always think of a dictionary. So how we are going to solve this problem? In this case, what we will do is we will form a dictionary. And in that dictionary, we will store all the results. So that will help us with this grouping. So for example, in this problem, what we will do is we will form a key like this. So, so for example, look at this ABC, right? So our key will be A to B distance is 1, B to C is 1. So our key will be 1, 1. Okay. And then inside this key, what we will do is we will store result as a uh, list. Then we will say ABC. Now we will look at BCD. Right. So when we look at B, C, D, it is also same. B and C is 1, C and D is 1. So this will come under A, B, C. So we will say B, C, D. Now uh, look at this X, Y, Z. So X, Y, Z is also same because this is also distance 1. So we'll club this under X, Y, Z. So like that we will do. And then, uh, so for example, when you are looking at uh, this A to Z, right? So in this case, so in AZ and BA, so this is the same distance because remember here what is happening? We are going in reverse direction, right? Like B to A. So in that case, so key will be uh, minus 1, minus 1, that will be your key, right? And then you will store results as BA and ZA. So that is how we are going to solve this problem. So this is the one concept. And the other thing that you have to learn here is there is a concept of rotation. So imagine if someone is saying um, after Z, A will come. So there is a rotation that you are performing. So always remember anytime a rotation thing is there, what you have to do is let's say imagine in, if in this world uh, our English alphabets contains only three and if someone is saying uh, C plus one or C plus 2 right so what you have to do is it's a very simple logic you take the length of this which is 3 and then uh, what you will do is what is the index of C it is 2 right and uh, how much they are asking you to move 2 right and then what you will do is what you will do is you will add the number of elements so number of elements is here 3 and then you take the remainder of it using 3. Now let's look at this. This is uh, 2, 4, 3, 7. 7 modulo 3 is what? Is remainder is 1, which is 0 and 1, right? So you will get B. So that is how. And in the same way, what we will do in this case is we will do plus 26 and then modulo 26. So that's the quick trick. Now let's start coding. So what we will do is we will first loop through uh, this list of strings okay and then the results which we are going to store uh, so before this let's do this thing uh, from collections import default dict and then list sorry you don't have to do this thing here you will say result is equal to default dict and then list and then here what we will do is once we will get the string let's say when we are getting abc what we will do is we will loop through this each each of the characters so i'll say ch in uh, in range and then I'll go from 1. I'll tell you what's the reason behind going starting from 1. So that I can take one back 
character so for example if i'm starting from one then what i will do is i'll i'll take a i'll start from a right so that is how i can do it so in this case what i will do is and let's make a key here so our key will be blank and then and then what we will do is we will say key plus equal to so the first thing which we are going to do is ORD this will give you a unicode of all the characters or other thing you can do is you can form a dictionary where you will have a1 2 a b uh, 2 you can give those numbers but instead of that we can use ORD which will give a unicode of it right so uh, uh, so what we are going to do here is uh, string and then ch right uh, minus ORD uh, string ch minus one because remember we are starting from the second one so we'll say ch minus one and we have to convert this guy into string that we will do okay and now let's have one more bracket here so as i told you what we have to do is we will just do plus 26 right same thing here plus 26 and then and then remainder of that 26 so which will be so this will give us a key and then remember what we are trying to do is we are just appending this keys because a to b is one then b to c is one so that will be one one so that we are doing and then here at the end what we will do is we will say a result and then key dot append and then you can say string and then at the end we will return result dot values i think this thing should solve this problem let's look look at it one more time in case of any error from collection default dict result string yes this is going to solve this problem so let's say let's run this see it is accepted and if i submit it it is 40 milliseconds and then don't worry about this because i've noticed i've, I've saw uh, i've saw this solution at 98 percentage also because I think so there is some problem with lead code sometimes see it is now 76 so thank you guys for watching if you like my channel please like and subscribe thank you so much